Big Boss was offered to me earlier okay. and I had a choice of you know um, going back um, you know breaking a, a commitment or just standing by it I chose to stand by it because also at that time my family thought it was better if I was just locked up inside uh, because I was uh, unnecessarily being trolled for no fault of mine I feel really sad that I could not be um, a part of this difficult time um, with Shilpa I would have loved to be there with her because I remember when I was in uh, the OTT show I was extremely worried about her I would never want to be friends with her uh, our energies don't match it's taken a lot uh, out of me uh, to be where I am today I've struggled a long time in this industry um, yes. I take a lot of care of myself and I certainly do not look like an auntie uh, of whatever that means in her sense and the way she said it also because I was uh, on another man at that time on Pratik mm. yeah. you know and I was doing my task but uh, uh, Pratik reached the end and yeah. I believe that he had done a lot more than Tejasvi and played this game with a lot more honesty and he should have won sure. it was very I mean the passionate. silence in the studio said it all you know uh, to be honest, when Pratik's hand went up, we were all cheering for him. Mm -hmm. uh, and when her hand went up, nobody cheered. Well, there were moments when I really wondered, is he still my boyfriend? Because I was talking <laughs> for so long. I didn't know what was happening outside. Hello everyone and welcome to Pink Villa. After spending almost six months inside the Big Boss house, our guest is finally out in the real world and has garnered a lot of love, appreciation and praise for a stint on the show. I particularly have a soft corner for her because we are from neighboring schools. Please welcome Shamita Shetty. Hello. Apa, neighboring schools? Were you in OLPS? I was in OLPS. Oh my god! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you were in St. Anthony's. Yes, I was, I was. Yes. You know, tomorrow is your birthday. It's a big yes. day for you. And I heard that Shilpa is also throwing a birthday party for you. How yes. excited are you to celebrate an occasion finally outside the house? Oh my god, very excited. <laughs> very excited. I think I'm I'm excited about everything these days because for me it's like after, I'm seeing it, I'm doing it after so long. Yeah. Uh I'm I'm so happy to meet to just be around the people that I love. Yeah. Uh and um you know meet my friends after so long. Mm -hmm. Uh it's very sweet of her to organize this. Um so I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it. Are you gifting yourself anything tomorrow to to like thank yourself? Oh uh, well, um I haven't really thought about it sure. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Um uh, but uh, I probably will just go on a vacation for a few days. Um mm -hmm. but there's so much happening right now that I've not really, you know, had a chance to get down to uh, planning it or for that matter even think about it um, sure. right now I'm just very happy to be home in my space uh, there's a lot to do and yes in time I'll probably just take off for a few days and you know uh, rest my mind a little much deserved break I think yeah <laughs> yes. uh, you know uh, during your journey you've had many supporters but two people have remained consistent one is Shilpa Shetty and one is your mother and uh, both of them recently also <laughs> finally opened up about uh, you being age shamed on the show and uh, it, it's it's really sad of what happened on the show especially we are in 2020 to imagine uh, but you know I think particularly a situation like this must have been difficult for your family because they were in outside and you were inside no way to communicate or you know uh, sympathize with each other uh, when you came out did you speak to them on this topic and you know how did they cope up while you were inside the house? They were definitely upset about it and uh, I think they, they saw me um, go through a lot emotionally in the house it's, it's been a long journey mm -hmm. um, I think I've been personally attacked in the house by several people from time to time Yes um, and um, yes I mean they were upset uh, especially towards the end of the show, you know, um, after so much has happened, uh, you don't really expect something like this from a woman uh, yeah. who claims to stand for women empowerment. True. 
so uh, it was a very uh, uh, it was very distasteful sure and um, i i just hope she doesn't repeat her mistake because she may sit and apologize and justify whatever she has said yeah um but words once spoken cannot be taken back yeah. and she needs to be a little more sensitive uh even if you are upset yeah you know don't cross that line because at the at the end of the day and i truly believe this you show your true colors in difficult situations you you understand your own strength in difficult situations it's so easy to be calm and composed when everything is all hunky dory around you but who you are in a difficult situation really shows your character sure and uh, i i don't know in every task she would just get very very nasty and say some really hurtful stuff yeah um so i i think she needs to grow up a lot and a little sensitivity would be nice and so definitely do not repeat something like this to a woman um it's taken me it's taken a lot uh out of me uh to be where i am today i've struggled a long time in this industry um yes i take a lot of care of myself and i certainly do not look like an auntie um uh, whatever that means in her sense and the way she said it also because i was uh, on another man at that time on pratik mm. yeah. you know and i was doing my task yes so it was just it just shows her mentality sure. you know i this is not my upbringing we don't do stuff like that yeah um so yeah i mean i just hope she's learned from this sure i did an interview with neha basin where she also opened up about being age shamed a while back and but you know like i said it's 2022 where do you think this is stemming from i don't understand and um i one of the interviews i did i somebody actually said to me that you know people are now taking the card down she's actually you know calling people auntie uh you know on social media and all of that and i think this is suddenly started because of what has happened now uh mm. in in big boss and it's just it's not happening it needs to stop you know Um, I agree. Little respect would be nice, and mm. you know, don't cross that line. Uh, it just shows. I mean, when you are insecure inside, you want to pull other people down. When you are yeah. unhappy inside, you want to pull other people down. Mm. You know, look inside, introspect, and stop inflicting pain on other people, and sure. let's respect each other. Would you ever be able to put this incident? uh behind you and would you do you think there's ever a chance to become friends with Tejas who will be outside the show and put these things behind you I would never want to be friends with Tejas uh our energies don't match oh. um i have very solid friends in the outer world who are very sure. secure and um they are lovely so sure. uh they are honest people they have the power the capacity to say the truth Mm. and also accept the truth mm. when it's told to them tejasvi is somebody i would never be friends with right i wish her all the you know luck in her life um in whatever she does in the future but uh, i i would not want her to be a part of my life and i'm pretty sure uh, she wouldn't want to either also as far as forgetting is concerned a uh, forgiving i have done um i can't hold things in my heart for so long it would make me a very bitter person i i i don't do that um but forgetting i mean i'm human so yes memories sometimes just get etched into your um you know your brain it's uh, a lot of things will will stay with me um but i'm very secure of the person i am i know who i am mm. uh nobody can rattle my foundation i'm very sure. clear about that more power <laughs> <laughs> you recently reacted to a tweet uh, you know which said that uh, colors might have made tejasvi win the show because she's doing nagin six do you think that's a problem <coughs> i don't think it's right for me to comment on that because um, at the end of the day i i have a very good relationship with colors i have done some of the biggest reality shows with them yes. all of them actually um i wouldn't like to comment on that but yes i do believe pratik should have been the winner Sure. Um, I don't know why I got out fourth, but uh, uh, Pratik reached the end, and yeah. I believe that he had done a lot more than Tejasvi and played this game with a lot more honesty, and he should have won. Sure, it was. I mean, the passionate. silence in the studio said it all. You know, uh, to be honest, when Pratik's hand went up, we were all cheering for him. 
Hmm. Uh, and when her hand went up, nobody cheered. So, what is the point of winning something and not and, and, and having your victory questioned? I would much rather have that love from people. You know what I mean? I agree. For me, for me also, that is my victory: the love and appreciation that I am getting from people, from the press. Um, that means a lot. That is my victory. Why I really was rooting for you, and why I really found your journey very inspiring, was that when you first entered the Big Boss house, you your family was already struggling with a personal problem, and to leave that and then go inside the house, how did you deal with that pressure back then? So I mean, Big Boss was offered to me earlier, hmm. and I had a choice of you know um, going back, um, you know, breaking a, a commitment or just standing by it. I chose to stand by it because also at that time my family thought it was better if I was just locked up inside, uh, because I was uh, unnecessarily being trolled for no fault of mine. Yes. Um, I had nothing to do with the incident. Yes. Uh, which was rather unfair. So yeah. I thought might as well just you know go in. Also at a time when you know people are sitting at home with no work. Yeah. Uh, because of COVID. I didn't want to disrespect the work that was coming my way, and I I wanted to make that money. That's why I chose to go in. But are things better at home now, especially with Shilpa? Because you know my heart went out to her during that time. She must have struggled and how. Yes, much better, much better. I I feel really sad that I could not be um, a part of this difficult time um, with Shilpa. I would have loved to be there with her because I remember when I was in. Uh, the OTT show. I was extremely worried about her. Didn't know what was happening. I wanted to know what was happening because we we're very close. Of course. Um, but uh, we've always emerged stronger with every hurdle, every kind of thrown uh, at us, and uh, she's also emerged stronger. Yeah. So I'm proud of her. Also, another supporter of yours, which remained constant throughout, was Rakesh Bapat, and how sweet he was. You know, uh, I remember after Big Boss OTT, there was speculation that maybe this relationship was for the show. But how you all supported each other after the show and then Big Boss 15 really has given your fans the confidence in the relationship. How do you look at it now, and you know, how do you look at it in the future as well? Well, there were moments when I really wondered, is he still my boyfriend? Because I was talking <laughs> for so long. I didn't know what was happening outside, yeah. but um, he stood by me. He waited for me, and uh, I'm so happy about that. He is a solid guy, and uh, I'm I'm excited to kind of you know. I mean, we've literally like now started our journey together because uh, I didn't really have the time to you know. We didn't have that time to spend with each other even when I came out of OTT. Yes. And getting to know each other on a game show is very, very different. We need to know each other in the outer world, in the real world. Um, so, we yes decided that we wanted to, you know, give it a shot and know each other better. And that's what we're going to get to now. <laughs> Lovely. Were you expecting to find love in the house? Was I expecting to find love in the house? In yes. my for starters, I didn't know it was a connection game. Oh. I went to play Big Boss. On stage, huh. I found out it's a connection game, and I was sent in with a connection. <laughs> so, and of course, before I went in, I was like, "No ways!" You know, my friends were like, "Please do not fall in love in there." And I was like, "Are you mad? No way!" <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, um, uh, well, Cupid's arrow went right into my heart and uh, <laughs> Rakesh's heart, and uh, yeah, we fell in love. Big Boss has been, uh, you know, a journey which has been very interesting. Where do you think this will benefit you now in the future? Or do you think it will help you in your acting career? Do you think it will get you more work? How do you look at it at this point? <coughs> I'm hoping it does. Um, I am looking forward to doing a lot more work. Um, I would love to do a lot more web series. There's so much work happening out there. Uh, let's see if there, there are people out there who believe in me, my talent, and you know, <laughs> come to me, uh, approach me with some good work because uh, I'm all up for doing more good work. I'm sure they will. I have a small, quick, two minutes fun game with you. It's called Who Would You? So the first question is, who would you remain friends with after the show has ended? Pratik. Who would you never want to work with, and why? In general. 
Yes. In, no, from, oh, from the house. From Big Boss, yes. From OTT and from the 15th season. Oh, Tejasvi. Uh, Tejasvi and Divya. Very negative people. I mean, I, I, I don't like people who thrive on, you know, other people's sadness. Um, you know, pull people down to make yourself look better. I, I, I don't like people like that. So, yeah. Never want to work with them. Never want to see them again. Uh, who would you want to share screen space with and why? From the house. Yes. Screen space. I would like Nishant to choreograph me. Because wow. I think he's extremely talented. Um, yeah. I, 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 I would love him to choreograph me. Yeah. That would be a great collaboration, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, who would you kill, marry or be friends with? Kill? <laughs> uh, Rakesh. Karan Kundra and Umar Riyaz. I would kill Karan. Hmm. I would be friends with Umar and I would marry Rakesh. Who would you never <coughs> like to be friends with? From I, I, I answered that. I mean Tejasvi and, and Divya. Yeah, that was work, but I agree. Uh, friends as well. Yeah, and I think I'm also somewhat disappointed with Karan because uh, what I saw uh, in Karan in the beginning of the season, I thought I, I mean he was very mature. Uh, I saw very, I saw a lovely side to him. Hmm. What I saw later uh, was not nice because you can't support something that is wrong. And sure. when the pro—I mean, in the process of wanting to support his girlfriend, because I was time and again told to him that he's not supporting her, not supporting her. I, I, I think there were times when he should have, hmm. um, you know, really told her where she's going wrong, and he didn't. So I'm disappointed in him. Whatever it's a game, he did whatever he thought was best for him, yeah. uh, and you know, uh, Teja in their relationship who am I to judge who would you like to take back in the show with you if you offer the next season <laughs> would I go back in the next season uh, that's no. another question <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly Pratik really why Pratik because I think we share a very sweet uh, rapport yeah. Nishant and I share um, a great rapport as well but then in the game he turns and which he has in you know in the in the game we've had our ups and downs yes. he loves me i know that i love him too but the game takes precedence um sure. with uh, pratik his heart takes precedence mm. he's an on, he's honest you know yes. what i mean yeah. i play from my my mind and my heart too yes i think that's how pratik plays as well yeah and so, he yeah. was such a misunderstood participant in the earlier days but has really grown to be an audience favorite over the months with pratik Pratik. Yes, yes, yes. And the last one, who would you like to take uh, along on a vacation? Well, Rakesh was a, a contestant, so I'll I'll choose Rakesh. And is that vacation happening? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reveal. More power to you, Shamita. Uh, always rooting for you, and thank you for this lovely conversation. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. Same here. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Take care.